Hey guys, MJ Madness here, and with the NHL trade deadline being two days away, some big moves are being made, and tonight, arguably the best player available on the 2017 trade market, defenseman Kevin Shattenkirk, is now a Washington Capital, acquired from the St. Louis Blues for a very reasonable price of a first-round pick in 2017, a conditional 2018 second-rounder, and a prospect Zach Sanford. Also, the St. Louis Blues will be retaining some salary in this deal. And definitely a very good price for the Washington Capitals. This definitely looks like a rental for them, a pending unrestricted free agent, and resigning him in the summer for the Capitals would be even better, although this may not be financially feasible for them. For St. Louis' side, definitely this was a move that needed to be made. It definitely looks like Shattenkirk won't be returning, as he is an unrestricted free agent, and it's definitely better to recoup some, from ass some assets from him than to let him leave for absolutely nothing. For the Capitals, this looks like a really bold move, and definitely they have shown that they are taking a stand. They are already looking like the NHL's best team on paper, already loaded with talent, and already on track for another President's Trophy, and now they made it even better by acquiring probably the best player available. They have a top three offense in the league, they allow the fewest goals per game, they wreck second in save percentage, the league's number five power play, and the number seven penalty kill. They still have Alexander Ovechkin playing high-end hockey, and arguably the best goaltender in the game right now, in Braden Holpe. They call Nicholas Backstrom, Evgeny Kuznetsov, and Lars Eller their top three centers. Their top five defensemen are John Carlson, Carl Osner, Matt Niskanen, Brooks Orpik, and Dmitry Orlov. They are absolutely stacked. But GM Brian McClellan realized that they've never been snacked enough over the past decade, and B, that despite such a talent-rich roster, they really did lack mobility and true offensive creativity after John Carlson on the back end. Shattenkirk is an absolute luxury for the Washington Capitals, but that's what the Caps evidently need to get over that playoff choke hump. Doing so and conquering the Pittsburgh Penguins in the Eastern Conference playoffs definitely requires overkill. Shattenkirk obviously enhances an already deadly power play. He can play 20 plus minutes a game and increases the fleet footedness on Washington's blue line. But he's also a very underrated defensive player. He's a driver of possession in all of the fancy stats and definitely fits the modern definition of what it means to be effective in your own end. He's definitely the anti Brooks Orpic for the Washington Capitals. And also, as a bonus, a Shattenkirk going to the Capitals blocks New York Rangers, the Caps Metropolitan Division competition, from landing him. And they were the blue, the blue shirts were the most common team linked to getting him. So, will the Washington Capitals ultimately look make every prognosticator look silly yet again and flop with an early playoff exit? Hey, it's entirely possible, but they definitely deserve credit for recognizing that they're an elite contention window and for refusing to stand pat. This has been the boldest mid-season move that they've made since the Ovechkin era. The Capitals also can finally say they have good possession numbers, something that directly correlates with the past seven Stanley Cup champions. They rank third in the NHL in 5-on-5 five -five score zone and venue-adjusted corsi, and the last five Stanley Cup champions have ranked top five in that category. Overall, the Shattenkirk acquisition really solidifies Washington as the NHL's team to beat right now. No matter how skeptical we may feel about them, no matter how many times this team has fallen short of expectations, they've decided to do something different this time, and I really think we have to view them through a new end, lens. And for the record, they are now my pick to win the 2017 NHL Stanley Cup, although of course we will see what happens. So that's it for me. Leave a like on this video if you want to see some more NHL trade deadline coverage, and let me know down in the comments below what are your thoughts on this deal, which team do you think won the trade. Thank you guys all so, so much for watching, and take care.